Hey, good morning, Pop Pop. I'm not your goddamn Pop Pop. Well, I know you're not my actual Pop Pop, but you remember I grew up in the house next door to you and you always told all the kids to call you Pop Pop. I know who you are, Kevin, Mr. Big Shot. Oh, am I? Get your story straight. I've got it about straight as I can. Sit up straight. Straighten your tie. Have you been taking care of your grandmother? Well, yeah, I was just up there the other day. I, I took Rico with me. Don't change the subject. You take care of your grandmother. When I was a kid, our grandparents were our best, best friends. friends. We did everything, everything together. together. Yeah, I know. You took your grandmother to the prom. You've told me this story a hundred times. Don't sass me. I know you. I remember when you and your father were the same age as each other. That doesn't sound right. You know what your problem is. Is it that my generation, generation never learned never the value, learned of, hard value work? of hard work? Eh, uh, what do you know? I don't know, man. Hey, Grandma. Kevin? Yes, it's Kevin, Grandma. It's how your are grandmother. You? Yes, Grandma, how are you? You remember the nice man from next door, Dr. Duxon? You kids used to call him Popcorn or Poppy or Pop Pop or something. Yes, I remember him differently than you do, but I know who you're talking about. Well, he's dead. I'm sorry to hear that, Grandmom. I know he was a good friend of yours. Call your friend Mikey. Hi, Kevin. Hey, Mikey. I was just coming to see you, man. I'm, I'm sorry to hear about your dad. You know, I just ran into him in the park the other day. I appreciate it, Kevin. Hey, listen, if there's anything you need, don't hesitate, okay? We're having a memorial Saturday morning. We're going to open up the stage. It would mean a lot if you could say a few words. You want me to eulogize your dad? You sure you don't want a casserole or something? Oh, you. Knock it off. I appreciate you, brother. I'll see you Saturday. grandfather was the kindest man I ever knew. He always had a smile. I never heard him one time complain about anything. <coughs> I grew up next door to Dr. Duxon. Sorry. I grew up next door. I grew up next door to Dr. Duxon. I hear a lot of y'all talking about how kind and patient he was, but I don't think it takes away from his memory to say that that's not the Dr. Duxon that I knew. He was a hard worker. He was a good doctor. He took care of his patients. He took good care of his family. But he was very intimidating. And I told him one time, I said, Pop, Pop, you know, you intimidate me. And he said, what the hell do you know about being intimidated? When I was a kid, we used to wrestle bobcats with our bare hands. And we were never intimidated. So I pointed out that he wasn't making the point that he thought he was making, that wrestling bobcats meant that he wasn't intimidated, and I was. So, so while he wasn't real patient with the kids growing up in the neighborhood, he probably did know better about most things than we did, and he wasn't shy about telling us. So I loved him, I respected him, and I'm glad to be here today and see there's so many people here that have such fond memories of him. Alright, we're done here.